versus Navi, and they will be playing Overpass. So, I think Guardian is uh, set up now. I would assume. I think all the players on the server are ready for us to give them the go ahead. Indeed. Unfortunately, he, yes. he won't have much time to warm up. He's Guardian. He does not need warm up. Well, we'll find out if he needs or not. If he doesn't need, actually, I believe. I think. F I think. F Nip are playing at like 5 p.m. But Freiburg was messaging me like two hours ago. It's like, hey, when can we warm up in the venue? I want to warm up early. I'm like, you can warm up now, baby. Just go over there. And he's like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so as far as I know, Freiburg's already warming up. Just all day. They're playing so he's going to be warm. They're playing TSM, right? It's a very tough I first game. I believe so. I say I believe so. I have no idea. I believe so. That's cool, actually, because you say they, so. they played each other in the Face It Land Finals last time. Ah. Yeah, I remember N Nip won Inferno with like 16-2, and then they lost the two. Uh, yeah, 16-2, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and IP actually came second in the last finals. Yeah, indeed. We'll see if they can knock off the reigning champions early. See if uh, Get Right and Dupree have a bit of a, you know, they might fall out after that match. The, yeah. Well, I, we I, I hope not because we need to get an, uh, the, rendition, the second rendition of the Get Dupree show. People are asking for it. We can, we can facilitate we it can if you make enough noise. Yeah. But you've got to make noise. We should get them to do one on one in like a beach volleyball or something. Why not? One on one beach volleyball. W one on one? How, how does that work in beach volleyball? Well, you have one guy on one side of the net, the other guy on the other side of the net. It's how like many hits like do they like get? Do they get yeah. two hits or one hit? You can do whatever you want. It's, it's a Get Dupree show. That's true. We can have uh, Freakazoid and Sean Gez as judge. They can, <laughs> sit on each they, can just they can sit on each other's lap. There's only one chair. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. <clears throat> you know, this, this match technically starts when producer Reese types ready in the chat. This is, this is too much, far too much tyranny. He could he could sit here and just wait for us to <laughs> fill until we start talking about eggs and we can just and leave. fridges. We don't have to be here. We we have freedom. In I think we have freedom. I don't I don't know. I don't know about that. What's about the that? worst I mean, what is the worst thing that he could do to us if we just left? We have the power, James. Let's take back the power. What are you gonna you gonna produce? Producer Dan? I don't need to produce. You did produce once, though. Uh, no did no. Didn't you? No. There's no way he's I've, I've expensive never expensive equipment. <laughs> Come on, guys. He's not allowed. All this, all this part of the desk is covered in plastic, just in case. <laughs> <coughs> so, let's show the knife, then. Come on, Mr. Reese. <laughs> show off the bleeding knife. Where did all the players go? They're all there. <laughs> well, They're all I'm there. glad we cleared that up, Dan. <laughs> 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 Nice. Producer Reese in the house. <laughs> Do you think he, he engineered this crash ahead of time? <laughs> I mean Do you know what? The timing of that was absolutely perfect. It's like, <laughs> countdown is finished. Let's start the knife. Boom. CSGO explodes immediately. Those crashes happen very rarely. I, wonder, I don't even know what causes them. It, just, it, it never happened to me. Like, it just randomly... So my, my CS sometimes minimizes itself. Uh, it sometimes crashes. It sometimes... It's, there's, there's a few bugs in CS. There's a few bugs. Hey, did you see that blog from the CSGO? No. Basically, uh, they, they, tweet, they made a tweet, not a blog. They made a tweet yesterday <laughs> and said, hey, we're, we're doing something new. We'll talk more about it tomorrow, as in today. And it's basically a T-shirt printing... It's a T-shirt press. Or whatever you call it, it's a t-shirt press. So, <laughs> but if you look at the replies on the Twitter, like, well, you, can you like fix the hitboxes and stuff? Even, <laughs> even, even devices getting involved, they're saying, is it new hitboxes, lol, or whatever. Um, is it new hitboxes? <clears throat> yeah, but it's t-shirts. It's, it's the strange. machine is t-shirts, but who knows what what is around that? I don't know. But um, we have a new contraption in the studio. What's that? It's an ironing board. Oh, we do. We have an ironing board. So uh, the saga of Dan's unironed shirt. My shirt's fine. Hopefully it's, comes it's to a close. It's his shirt here today that's, that sucks. This shirt's it's fine. Not, it's not that bad. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine on camera anyway. Yours actually looks worse on camera. It's because it... What? There's too much space. 
from a space. Like space there, you need you need to you need to tie the shirt. I can, not for me. I, I can fetch one. Not right now. Well, I could. I guess we. C I can't leave this chair. Maybe we. I've never left. I've never left the chair whilst the stream is actually on. We still on have us. the tank tops. We can just use them. No. We could just. We could just get the tank tops out again. They seem to be popular. <laughs> there was a, about a million, a million images on my Twitter after that. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. We'll have to get them back out and have. We'll ha we'll get suntans, wearing vests. So it looks like we were wearing bras. When the uh, wearing bras, no, because when the suntan comes in, it'll just look like you were wearing a like a giant bra, or, 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 a, or, or a, vest. a vest, or a vest, I suppose, or maybe a vest, which is exactly <laughs> what you were wearing. That is true. All right, glad we cleared that up. All right, so maybe you really should give us an update as to what is going on. That would be since we were about to watch some CS. Okay, so we're just waiting for the admins to start the game. Any time now. So we have, um, let's see, versus Pro One on Knife and Pick CT, by the way. When should we do the Dragon Ball giveaway? Now. Now? Yeah, why not now? After this game. How many Dragon Balls do we have to give away? What do you mean, how, do you know how expensive they are? There's one, of course there's one. Only one. <laughs> are you crazy? This is the Face It Finals. If, Can't you're you just, if you're just joining us, guys. It's pretty cheap. This is, this is the wheel. And every single part of it says Dragon Law. Which means... <laughs> Which kind of defeats the entire point. We could put bisons on there. We should put something else on there. We've, I've, just got, have I've, got like, I've got like 30 bisons. Should we, should we remove the dragon laws and put bisons We should change yours on? somewhat. Because right, it's, it's right. not as if... Let's remove. Because even if it was just on one segment, it, there is a, there is a, it's very likely that if we you know, spin it a few times today... I'm dirtying my finger. Thank you for I will require... That. A hand wash. Paper towel. Alright. So what are you going to fill in there? The bison. Oh, so 50%. Dragon law or bison. So dragon law, okay. A dragon law or a bison after this game. I'm just going to put a B because I can't be bothered to, to uh, type the rest. I say type. I'm such <laughs> yeah, a nerd. Gonna say. We should do a... Uh, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Never mind. So are we going to give away a dragon law after this game or a bison, Mr. Threat, Mr. B Mr. Bjorn Purse. Hash. Oh my God, this thing's falling apart. Okay, go, go. Oh, fuck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this guy's Swedish guys. Got that sweets. Oh, oh it's, it's bison. gonna be the bison. All right, guys, you asked for it. Well, you, you didn't. Dan did. But I, we're doing I, a I we're doing it. a bison raffle instead of the a person, dragon, instead of a dragon law raffle who after this game. It's gonna hate me. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. They are. <laughs> you just you've got yourself your first uh, your your first sworn enemy, soon to be discovered during the uh, following break, as it's going to be a bison, not a dragon lord. Maybe we should put the knife on there as well. Last <laughs> severe lack of thought. Maybe. Into this. Hey guys, <laughs> there's dragon lords every. Oh, maybe we should do this. They're all disappearing now. Do that. All right, I'm going to remove one more dragon lord. And sign shirt by threat. Sign, what, what would sign the shirt tank, be? tank top. Sign tank top. Oh, you guys are getting carried away now. Sign one pound shades. Oh wait, no, I've done it wrong. Oh, what are you doing? Well, okay, this was. I'll put the bison back on here. I'm going to put a K on there now. For what does the K stand for? Knife. Knife. Okay. Noir. Knife. Noir. <laughs> All right, guys. So now, for the next spin, following this one, the knife. Two dragon laws and three bisons. Yes. So we we started off with we started off with six dragon laws. Now we've got two, three bisons and a knife. But we are into we are now we're into the match. Finally, we're going to get started, guys. Virtus Pro versus Navi. Virtus Pro winning a knife round, starting on the CT side. Navi, recent champions once again coming in full of confidence. Let's see how this will go. We have four Navi players opting for Kevlar. We've got Edward turned into the raid boss there with a Tech 9 dropped by Zeus. He will have a smoke in the hole. Bayali will carry the defuse kits. Two Kevlars for Virtus Pro and nades on the remaining players. Yeah, Navi actually looking to get surrounded here. Virtus Pro are going for the flank, but will they be fast enough? Because Navi want that, want that fast B push. They've got the bomb moving there to, as well. 
Looks like Edward's going to be retaking the stairs by the door as well. So Virtus Pro, they pretty much know what's happening already. They've got a man on the flank. I do believe it is Pasha, actually, who's all the way in the back, almost flanking Monster already. Yeah, he's going to spot everything, but in comes the B push. Virtus Pro will already be in position. Taz will get a quick double there. That's looking fantastic for Virtus Pro. He picks up another kill. He is not stopping at the moment until they're all dead. And it's going to be a very clean round indeed for Virtus Pro. And definitely by merit, not only of Taz, but by the, the information plays from Pasha. A yeah, very smart play there from Virtus. Usually you never see teams playing passive towards the A site on that pistol round, so if you don't see an A push coming towards long or toilets, you can just push towards C spawn, and after they had that information, the round was basically over. Taz going straight for the M4. We've got MP9s coming out here from Snacks. Double MP7 and the P90 onto Pasha. Navi going for the Force, which is uh, somewhat similar to the last round. He's being the nade man, and once again, no armor onto him. Edward and Guardian will also have smokes, which could suggest an A executes. Or well, they could be uh, trying to cut off and isolate players towards B bomb site. We'll have to see how things uh, continue. Again, something we saw in a Cloud9 match from ESWC actually was um, Sean had paid a lot of attention to how Navi played their T side. You can see Edward always jumps that spot just to the right there, that hedge. And uh, Skadoodle was pre aiming that. We'll see if uh, this pro do the same later on when both teams are on the full buy. But for now, it is Navi on the force and VP on the anti eco. Yeah, looking pretty interesting right now because Navi are about to snap into that A-bomb site. And Virtus Pro, they have the nades over the top here looking to get some quick kills close with the SMGs. However, these uh, Tech Nines will do just as well at th that, uh, that range that Snacks is looking for. This is a very awkward position. He's going to go in, get spotted now. We get the wrap here. Two players here for Virtus Pro looking for those frags. Flamey will get uh, Pasha down, but the beast of Na'Vi is unstoppable at the moment. It is charging into that bomb site, and so far it's just Taz who is there by Optimus looking for a, a delivery here of death with those M4 bullets. And that is the bomb down now, and Flamey's on 2 HP, so it looks like Taz has been able to hold this one off, and that will be the round win for Virtus Pro. So good hold in the end. Yeah, they actually won a 2 versus 4 there, so great play from the <laughs> and Taz. It is quite tough, even though you're up in a 4v2, it's actually quite tough to get up on that actual A site. Usually you wanna just fall back and just see what happens, maybe go for the B rotation, but it's so easy to just, oh, we killed three people, it's, we're, we're gonna have an open site. So, t Taz, if I remember correctly, I think he uses the... Uh, he, he varies a lot between the Silence M4 and the uh, M4A4, depending on his position on the map. But uh, again, it's a very important tool to have in a situation like that, and he made it work. Na'Vi on the more conservative eco this time, Flamey on the uh, Tech 9, Guardian on the P250. Nothing doing other than that. Easy frags coming in here for Snacks. Two down so far, trying to uh, stop Na'Vi from getting this weapon. He is wasting a lot of time. Can a knife pebble come in? Oh, he's swiping! Oh, and it's going to be a T-frag <laughs> through the wall there. <laughs> That's completely ridiculous, but Taz will clean up. 3-0 to VP. And will Virtus go for the A aggression now? I wouldn't be surprised if this is... Three people going aggressive either along or towards party. And let's see what they decide to do. Yeah, yeah, only two so people we will have say. a full amount of smokes here for Navi as well. <coughs> so they could play this one slowly with all the grenades that they have to work with. And Virtus Pro, they're actually going to start off with three players towards B actually. So a little bit afraid of a fast timing towards the sewers and towards uh, B in general. And uh, Virtus Pro team usually that wants to put more emphasis towards A, so perhaps playing a little bit against what is known by them. And Snacks is alone here, and this is a very hard position to do by yourself. Usually you want a teammate to be able to help you with grenades, to help you to trade. As Snacks is going to flash himself back, and he is going to find some support. And but it's probably with a very, very defensive opening. Taz is really the only aggressively placed player who is actually giving a lot of info for Virtus Pro. They do have a good understanding of what's going on for Na'Vi right now. Yeah, I imagine VP want to try and secure their economy a little bit before the train kicks into all the gears. No pun intended. As you hear the train go past. Hashtag decoy. So we have trades coming in towards the toilets area. Snacks and Tiger Edward will fall. And there is 35 seconds on the clock for Navi to take some significant map control. Things can move around, change very quickly here on the A site, but easier said than done. It's still four versus players to contend with, and they may get a read on it being an A with this amount of time on the clock here. B might be too hard a challenge. Pasha will see the Shadow of Guardian before the player. Easy frag for him. Taz coming in with two as well. Virtus Pro survive with four players. 
a key play there from Pasha, delaying the people going towards the A-side from short. It's very crucial that you buy time there. I think it was only 20 seconds left on the clock when the actual push came in, so Virtus knew that it was going to be an A push, which then meant they could rotate all players to that <coughs> A-side. Yeah, so it's just the pistols now for Na'Vi. There's not much really for them to do other than try to hope for some damage and maybe a bomb plant. And, well, we actually see them move the bomb towards the playground area at the moment. Actually dropping it, so they're playing what would look like kind of a picking kind of game at the moment. We've got two players in connector. As Snaxes could get sandwiched by multiple players from Na'Vi, but he takes down the first one behind him. Does get caught by Guardian in the end, but the trade comes in from Pasha. So everything looks calm just for a moment before the Tech Nines are upped once again on towards the toilets area. And that will be Pasha giving away his M4. So two weapons have been claimed here now for Na'Vi. They could yet do more damage still with these weapons. And that is exactly what they are after, with the bomb just lying there in the uh, playground. It's use with a helmet as well to go with his Kevlar. Now, there is a fair chance that Na'Vi could get a bomb plant in this situation. If they uh, can, if the gamble pays off for them, if they could choose the right site. But Taz will also be well aware of this, and he's trying to position himself to uh, get some info for his team and cut these numbers in half. But he'll be unable to do so. He's used finding the frag, losing half his health in the meantime. So now Virtus Pro with uh, two sites to try and defend. Although they have uh, much information as to where Navi should be going. The rotation's coming in. Neo getting an important first frag. And Spiali will find the second, so Virtus Pro just about holding on there to keep a clean sheet versus Na'Vi. A great eco though from Na'Vi getting three kills. It means one less round for Virtus to lose before they are forced on eco. And let's see if Virtus will keep up the aggression there towards the A side. They did actually go for a passive play the first weapon round, opted to go for the aggression on the anti-eco, which is kind of surprising. And by the looks of it, they're actually having two people towards A here again. Ooh, where is this Molotov going? That's for the uh, that's a nothing Molotov, although many players have been using it to delay the push from the CTs in towards that sewers area, which Bialy has actually moved in towards. And uh, also the spray can, can basically finish off that player as well that has been moving into that area. I think, I, I think we saw maybe Edward do that in Star Series, like eight rounds in a row, and then eventually just got a kill. Or maybe it was Zeus, I'm not sure. Or maybe it was just Zeus, I'm not sure. But, uh, maybe there's anyone on Navi. Maybe there's anyone on Navi. But it'll be seized to get the kill into Bialy. Bialy actually going for a push there. We can see Virtus Pro have aggressive positioning all over the place, as you would definitely expect from them. We talked about, and Navi are actually punishing it pretty heavily so far. And off the back of these individual plays, they're looking to bust down the doors of the B bomb site. But the bomb is actually making its way towards A at the moment, rotating all the way around. So a lot of confusion here for the poles. Yeah, they're going to be stuck now, although Pasha, if he finds this frag, that will certainly help. Indeed, he does. But that may slow the rotation down even more. And Edward is looking to flank the Virtus Pro plays before the bomb even makes it over towards A. His flank is real. Although Pasha could maybe find himself a one versus one. Edward, I believe, is rotating his way back to the site. Guardian has crossed that position that Pasha's holding. Nice peek there from Guardian, actually. That's the information for his team. Doesn't need to repeat. Can have the crossfire, although... It'll be an awkward one with an AK and an AWP. Uh, Pasha is looking for the trade fragger. Do that some areas, but he will go straight into the Rattacool of Guardian, and that will be that for this round. Navi make their way onto the scoreboard. And Virtus was, they were a bit greedy there. They had control of sewers. They had a really good map control, actually, and then they still opted to try to go for that push towards T spawn through sewers with that flash for Bial, and didn't work out. Gave Navi the entry kill, and it just worked for them after that. Yeah, so AWP on either side now. Guardian has got his AWP going. Pash is on the AWP as well. And Vettis Pro, they did manage to kill three players from Na'Vi despite Na'Vi winning that round. So their money cannot be too good. And Zeus is going to go for the little peek in, in the little crack there that's visible towards the bottom of the connector. And you can see that Pash is looking for the angle as well. He knows it all too well. He's going to toss in an incendiary before falling back in. The timing has come that he needs to be very careful of who is potentially moving through the balloons area. And uh, we'll see just generally for Vertus Pro with limited information now deciding, okay, we don't have enough info, guys. Let's start falling back. Let's start playing tight team play setups. And Na'Vi will take that little bit of map control given to them. And, uh, well, they can build this into pretty much anything. I think Na'Vi's going to go for the boost here towards the barrels. Okay, we'll see if they find anything. Ooh, Bayali's head is just rolling around a basketball hoop, but they won't find the goal. 
There's a 45 seconds left. There aren't many grenades left on the uh, Versus Pro side. They've got counter flashes and one smoke to work with. As Navi have uh, many more tools if they can get a post plant situation, especially. But they are yet to breach the site again, going for the late game as uh, Navi have become experts in it. But they're going to have to uh, contend with the water position of the CTs. Trades coming in straight away. 23 seconds left for the uh, T's to try and get a bomb plant. And they're winning these jewels on the A site, on the B site, excuse me. Yeah, it's going pretty well, and even Pash is going to go down without anything to say about it. So, so far, Na'Vi have only lost Edward. Edward, all, and he basically did his job as well. He, pr he stopped Virtus Pro from getting any info with A long pushes, so they didn't know that the B push was coming in time. And that, combined with those fast entries, has resulted in a strong round here for Na'Vi. Uh, Seize with a double, Flamey with a very key kill as well onto Pasha, and see the exit frags being lined up here by the remainder of Virtus Pro. Now just being Neo. And so far, only getting one of those. So, well, Na'Vi picking up another round. So that's that's really nice. And they they only lost two players. So they're they're starting to build some money too. Yeah, now they will actually force Virtus to an eco. So those three kills on that eco they had three rounds ago, it's very crucial since it actually gave them an entire round now. Okay, so Virtus Pro on the eco. You can see that uh, it was already a bit of a struggle on that previous round, and now it's only got worse, and so much worse. Na'Vi with great opportunity to get well back into this game. And we might have a pot flash play here from Virtus Pro, as we see on the B side of Inferno. Edward gets the first frag, but he's going to get traded, and in this situation, VP will take that, and they'll take the weaponry. But uh, the presence from so many people over in that area will allow Na'Vi to take the B bomb site quickly. And Versus Pro, we'll see. Uh, they'll go for the retake here. They might opt to try and save the snacks while the rest are trying to apply pressure. Yeah, it's actually a, an AK for Snacks could be problematic. Navi really need a clean round, and uh, Guardian will take down Bialy. So versus Pro, they don't have to do anything really. Well, they must just play very safe for Exus, keep the AK alive. It's gonna be really nice for them. Yeah, they're positioning themselves to punish, but safe passage is being made towards T spawn for the Navi side. So they should survive with a few casualties. You can see the rotation though coming in from versus Pro, realizing the root of the Navi players, but I don't know if Virtus Pro will find themselves any more engagements in this round. It seems they won't. No cheap kills for the Polish side, and they'll save one AK going into the next round. Now, do you think it's worth putting this AK, say, on Taz, who has one of the, the more aggressive positions? Because if you saw him have a duel in the sewer earlier, which he lost. I think he headshot the other player as well, but... Um, you know, the AK proves superior with the one tap to the head. Uh, that's actually a good point. It might actually be better. And they really need to answer this sewers play from Navi now. And that would leave them best equipped to do so. Seized getting that AK shot onto Neo straight away. Unable to uh, hit the target there. Seized completely untouched in that exchange. Yeah, and we can see, of course, that after getting a quick pick against the Virtus Pro Navi, with so much time left to play with, they can just take this really easily. They have sewers they, there's no reason to to uh, leave sewers they can have that option now for the rest of the of the round and they can just they can even go for an a push try to get the good trades there and then keep this uh, fast b opening available with that sewers position but we will see some frags going on as the trades go in towards a long as navi do indeed try to get it going and it'd be edward to take down snacks who should push the cts back there they're on three players now the last of which is pasha towards this safe site he's got to hold it down against zeus and zeus will take him out with a nice peek so things going not so well here for the polish side as navi can now move the bomb again pretty much wherever they want they've got 35 seconds the bomb is uh in the toilets at the moment, and Taz is in the forward position. So Taz is the make or break here for Virtus Pro. Gets the uh, engagement, but not the frag. And Zeus will uh, get the headshot there. So Bialy comes in from bank. And there's uh, a huge job to do. Bomb will go down in the smoke. Bialy gets a quick double, though. And all of a sudden, it becomes possible. All right, so seized uh, in an awkward position here. Well, both players, in fact, are... And Seize will be hoping that his head is not exposed in that position, but wow. Bialy's going to find them. Penetration kill as well. Could pick up the orc first. I guess it's close enough. He can do it afterwards. So uh, great clutch there. One versus three by Bialy. Allowed himself to get three 1v1s in that situation after the first kill. Then obviously the second one, the bomb was already being planted. So uh, this, his position was still unknown with the silence them 4 so yeah. that yeah. made the difference. The key was Edward missing that op shot from long because he had a good angle on Bialy and 
after he missed that shot, it's basically just a 1v1. Yeah, and I guess there's a point to, to consider regarding uh, Taz holding the AK is because he already had an M4A4, Snacks, I think, is just exclusively silent, so uh, there might have been a, a recoil control issue there compared to what he's used to. Anyway, we're going to have a fast push here from Seas, trying to uh, take some control, and he's gone straight past Bali thanks to that flash, maybe. Completely unknown, and that's going to really severely handicap Virtus Pro straight off the bat here. Yeah, I mean, Taz has got P90 though, so you must have faith. As you do get to Virtus Pro players crawling through the smoke, Snacks needs to deliver something rather huge. He is getting completely wrapped here. The site is going to be the property of Navi very soon, as uh, Snacks and uh, Taz are left to defend here. And it will be, uh, sorry, Neo, sorry, and he is going to go down. Snacks only getting a single kill, so that's going to make the light life incredibly impossible for Taz. He will pick up one crag, but takes so much damage in the process, he's just going to run away and go for the save. So Virtus Pro getting outplayed here by Na'Vi. Looking pretty nice. Hunt for Taz is already beginning. Flamey is on search and destroy mode. The Sentinel has been dispatched from the base. And he smells blood. Taz running for dear life, and the flank continues. Edward looking for him as well. Has has been found. The fox has been found by the uh, the horseman. Dad. The interesting thing there actually is is that they could have picked up an orb and given it to Guardian. We can see that he was looking at it at the, in the end there, but they decided that okay, instead of taking an orb for free, usually that's something you often want to do. Guardian's just going to buy up an AK instead. Did Virtus Pro just go for the force buy? They did. It they did just they get did. Re reset. So yeah, that's true. They might just buy this round. Go for Eco next. Yeah, it, it might be Guardian may have opted for the AK, expecting an eco here from Virtus Pro just in case there's a rush and he wants to he doesn't want to get caught out of position and give them an AWP, which who knows what could happen with it. Or maybe there's a completely different reason, but it is a consideration. We've seen Pasha do ridiculous things here with this scout in this position before, but Navi smartly going to go up uh, this closer area. There, okay, there's the first frag. It's going to be Guardian down straight away, and Patch is looking for a head scanning with that scout. As the nades come in from Na'Vi. He's close range now with the scout. He's got some teammates running distraction, but they're going to go down immediately. Pash is getting tags in, though. Edward down to 11. And, oh, he's going to miss the shot into Zeus. So, 3-on-3, three three, that's actually pretty good damage. Much more than you'd necessarily expect here from Virtus Pro immediately on this defense. And that's going to leave Na'Vi questioning their decisions here. Indeed. Te uh, Edward is heavily tagged as well. And Zeus is within tapping distance. If he gets too close to 5-7, he might be in trouble. So this is, even though uh, the two versus pro players have no armor and they roughly know where they are, it's still a bit scary. Bali will be able to pick up a weapon, but I think he may opt for a save here with 40 HP. Although, it's actually probably worth him going for the clutch rather than going for the save versus two players. Oh, almost gets caught with a nade in his hand. Gets the gun out, but sees will finish things off. And that's how you take the A side on this map. You push yourself towards that small edge where they can always see your head. And then you just wait there, and then you can actually send a player back towards B. We actually saw, I think it was Edward, or someone went back through connector towards B, which forced the rotation from Tass, which made it even easier to take the A side. So great play there from Navi. So the uh, the pros almost universally pan the current scout and how it uh, the jumping shenanigans, which I think they are being vocal about at the moment in certain circles. 6-5 to five now, one round advantage for Versus Pro. You can see that Molotov was a bit off uh, the intended target there. Virtus Pro on the proper eco now, just the PT-50s coming in to see what shenanigans can be, shenanigans can be found. Although Na'Vi will know uh, what is covered and what is not covered. And that will be a clean take of the A site with only Bayali remaining. Yeah, so it does seem that Na'Vi have a pretty strong answer when it comes to dealing with Virtus Pro on the defense. And this is where Virtus Pro tend to be their most dangerous. When they really get rolling on their, their offense with the, as on the CT side, it get, becomes really hard to stop for some teams and they can really get in your head and so on. But Na'Vi are taking it slow. They have, <coughs> have managed to find an answer. And we saw, what, something like four or five, five rounds, I think, straight away from Virtus Pro. So they've only gotten one round against a lot of these buy rounds from Na'Vi. So Navi, they don't look like they're stopping anytime soon. We'll see the usual molly there from Seized, and maybe even the wallbang attempt as well. There we go. Just a little bit as uh, Flamey clears the sewers area. Once again, Navi taking full advantage of having sewers, as I think uh, you were pointing out before, Beyond. 
So another dink <coughs> onto uh, an RV player, but no kills just yet as they are M4s. How many rounds do Navi want here on the T side? I mean, if they get more than six now, I think they're fine. If you get seven, if you get to seven, that's a good TF. All right, we'll see if they can do it. Again, Virtus Pro still uh, limited in supplies. You can see, look at all the Molotovs on the Navi side versus two smokes and a few bits and bobs here for Virtus Pro. But again, it's got to come down to the frags. Nice flash coming in, but Viali recovers in time. Almost gets a two-man spray down. Trade's coming in for both sides. Three versus three. Guardian only six HP, carrying the bomb now. And uh, Edward is miles away. They're trying to slow things down, Navi, but they're losing players. And this flank from Edward may come in far too late. Again, Guardian bomb carrier on the B bomb site, and he desperately needs help from Edward here. Yeah, it's a Mr. Flick, and he really would have wanted to hide so that Edward can actually cause a distraction, enable him to get out of that horrendous position. So this, yeah, this, this went way too quickly, and that flank from Virtus Pro is so fast through the series area, and now Edward's in a one on three. He's going to actually eliminate Neo straight away. He does take a lot of damage, though. He goes down to 26. He's going to make his way in and swiftly back out again as he rests in the water there. Uh, muddy, dirty water of the B-bomb site. It's probably got urine in there somewhere. There's probably urine. Yeah, it's everywhere. Just... And if Navi wins this round, I think Virtus will have an extremely low buy the upcoming round, which means they might actually win the half. So this is a crucial round for Virtus Pro. Okay, so Taz on the P90 once more. Famas coming out for Neo. And they have uh, more nades, two incendiaries as well on the CT side, which is always nice to see. Virtus Pro, one of the... Uh, team has been using it for the longest time but we've got a fast monster push here from the Navi side along with this spray down so let's see if the CTs can hold this yeah the p 90 is in play for Taz but he's gonna get dropped straight in the water again flamey with a double entry that is strong indeed for Navi as Snacks is resting behind the smoke I don't know if he heard that the plant was going down it's likely that he didn't hear that but he's gonna get a free kill anyway as he moves forwards now trying to get more frags and he will get exactly that giving his team a chance Snacks pulls out a quick triple and I'll seized is there in this one-on-one -on -one against Pasha with that bomb ticking away. That's a really nice incendiary. Will that cover Pasha in time here to go for the defuse? In goes the smoke to eliminate that incendiary straight away. And this dance, is it taking too long here for Pasha? It's starting to get really awkward as he smokes and goes for the defuse himself. In goes the flash. Is it enough? Absolutely not. Seize picks up the kill and Navi win the rounds. And that round is so smart by Navi. If you have a spam towards yours every single round, you can just go for that fast monster pu push because just shooting with the AK actually covers up the sound of you running in Monster. And they don't know if they're doing that because they have spammed that wall every single round. Oh, that's a really nice idea, actually. Nice tidbit for people to abuse. So, Navi with full nades, full guns versus Pro with four, five, sevens, and a FAMAS. The odd flash here or there, they will need to play aggressive here. They need to get a man advantage and pick up some weapons, and they need to do it fast. Yeah, that's a really nice damage you can see done by the incendiary, even though they make it through the seized, through that incendiary, it didn't even help. They were so low, and Pash is going to find Edward jumping in his face, but he will take him down pretty handily. So it looks like a clean round here from Na'Vi for that 8-7 uh, first half, and again, Virtus Pro, after their initial streak of 5, they they didn't really show up in a lot of these their CT rounds. Do, what do you feel like was the the key factor behind that? I think it was, was just Navi getting control of sewers, and then Virtus actually realizing this, and then they tried to answer it, but they just failed every single time. Seast went through that tunnel, they used the Molotov, they just sprammed uh, through the plank, and there's nothing Virtus could do. Maybe they should, tr should have tried to regain control of sewers, maybe after 5-10 seconds, use a pop flash, instead of just trying to force themselves into that area right, right away. Yeah, it's cool to see Seize. He's on 19 kills there. He's uh, really racking up the frags. So, actually, the, sco the scoreboard for Na'Vi there, I mean, not necessary as you usually expect it. But, of course, you know, Guardian not really on the orping rolls. We saw that Na'Vi specifically stayed away from the AWP. In many spots, they could have had orps on Guardian, who, of course, is, is likely... I don't, I don't know. Is, would you say it's still fair to call him the best orper in the world? He's, he's up... He's up there if you depends on what it, categories it's, it's, yeah well. it's, it's really hard if you base base it on games from the last two months i would say it's the best yeah. opera in the world if you just look at the last weeks maybe schedule or simple yeah but then also you have to factor in a lot of stuff regarding decision making as well with a player like simple 
And uh, well, either way, uh, it's a, it's a really nice half there from Navi. So moving into the second half, we'll have Navi starting off on the CT side. And how do you f how do you feel about Virtus Pro's T side first of all? I mean, there are a team like Navi that likes to have control the sewers area and just abuse the connector running back and forth. However, I don't know if it's going to be as easy for them as it is for uh, as it was here for Navi. I don't even know if Virtus will knows this the mult of their towards short on B. You would hopefully expect to see it. It has become pretty standard in the last month or two. A lot of teams are doing it. I guess the difference is that Navi probably use it the best. As you say, you know, using the, the AK spray to actually cover the footsteps of a rushdown monster, for example. That is a, a one mix-up of that play because, of course, well, I mean, we could go into that, but we're into the pistol round now here. It's uh, second half between Virtus Pro and Na'Vi. The winner will go against uh, Cloud9 in a best of one for a qualification spot into the playoffs. Let's see how this goes. Three sets of Kevlar on the CT side. Sees carrying the uh, diffuse kit and the nade. He is top fragging by a long way for Na'Vi at present. Can it continue on the CT side, however? Frags may be more positional. Speaking of position, B bombsite looks fortified at the moment, although Virtus Pro are by no means committed. Two people in the uh, in the sewer area for the T side. Just going to keep control of that while they start to move ever so slowly elsewhere, keeping the bomb out of Na'Vi's vision. Well, it's a very slow fair indeed now, but it's pretty deciding to make their way back towards the A bomb site and the seized. Should be the first point of contact here for Na'Vi as he waits in the, uh, I think people used to call it the forest position. And Seize is going to have to be very, very surgical here with his precision. He's going to hear the running, and Seized oh is going to allow no. him to run past. He could come in for a massive flank. Here he goes, spots three players lined up, and a distraction is going to do more damage than Seized himself. And that's completely fine in Na'Vi's book, as they are going to clean this round up. Well, there it is. Neo goes down in the end, three players surviving, and uh, that is that was pretty strong. Who threw that smoke that landed? There? I don't know, actually. It looked uh, like it was a T, but but why would a T throw a smoke in that position? I don't know. It's just, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I would imagine... Do you think Na'Vi could have done it deliberately to smoke seized off? Yeah, that, that would be really cool, but the, then the timing is so crucial. Yeah. Hmm, we'll have to look at the replay and find out if that was as smart as we hope it was. Meanwhile, there's a fast movement from the T's towards the B bomb site. Indeed, we are seeing entries coming in in two directions. The bomb's been uh, taken down. I think it might have fallen into the water, actually. That's a disaster. It's on the CT side as well. They have an angle, and this will allow the rotation for the CTs to come in. So, the T side in a difficult situation now when they could have got a bomb plant. Bomb is still in the sewer area. We've got the CTs pushing there as well. Only Neo remaining versus three. And that is really going to be the difference that stops them getting anywhere near taking this round. I like the decision, though, for Virtus just trying to push Graffiti because if you just try to play this site, try to play down in the monster water, it's almost impossible to win the retakes from the CT. So you have to gain, get some ground. And they try to do that but fail. But it's still a better idea than just trying to play passive. Yeah, so yeah, so that's uh, a full eco from Virtus Pro. So this should be a pretty nice round for Navi to build some bank. We'll have the push in through short potentially here from Virtus Pro. They're all moving through indeed. And there it is, Snacks, the first man. Oh my god, he's gonna get, gonna get nailed. Do a little bit of a backflip there. There's Navi. I'm oh, gonna have a very good time with this one. So they should go 11 to 7 here pretty easily. And. They'll have the bank to play with. What do you want to see Virtus Pro do in their buy rounds? Well, they should just do a regular default. Either take control along or just try to gain control of sewers. And I really hope they know the Molotov towards short on B. Right. And we don't see a Molotov here from Virtus. Yeah, they've opted for full smokes with a number of uh, flashbangs as well. Two flashbangs is equal to one Molotov. Financially speaking, for the terror side, <coughs> so we'll see what they've got in mind. There's a the Navi side are quite deep up towards A actually at the moment. We can expect them to uh, move back as time goes on. Indeed, they will uh, play different positions based on the clock, so they don't overextend. 
Virtus Pro will know what to expect from Na'Vi to a degree. You can see they're holding tight angles towards the long where Edward can sometimes be found. Edward is, however, in this area here by the toilets, coming in for to potentially support Guardian if necessary. So Neo's going to throw the pop flash to uh, peek in too long. And Virtus Pro will slowly start to clear out various areas of the map. Yeah, very slow, tentative approach at the moment as they are looking to get some just clean trades if they possibly can towards the area. Just to open up the map, of course, Virtus Pro, they've got players in position towards door and also towards monster. So they're really covered when it comes to any flanking plays or info, info uh, gathering opportunities for Na'Vi. Just, oh, that was really close. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Guardian knowing his angles for sure, but Virtus Pro going to make their way in now. Guardian will be tested. He misses the first shot. How many more shots will he get to rattle off here before they put their... Uh, their bullet straight towards his position. Well, he's going to get Pasha down, and it's going to be the push into B that's going to be the real effort from Virtus Pro. They have disguised this wonderfully as Navi have to go with a rotation, and it's just uh, nice entries here indeed from Virtus Pro. Viani picks up one. More frags coming in though on the trade. The response from Navi starting to be quite strong. Zeus goes in, not only just with a Famas, it's a pistol as well. Guardian makes his way in with the AWP, and that is just completely cleaned up. How did that happen? Virtus Pro looks really strong there. Nice try there from Virtus going for the fake on Che, abusing the connector. We talked about this earlier that Virtus is a team that really like to abuse the rotation through connector and sewers. But after that, they just didn't gain get enough ground on the B side. I talked about this earlier. It's so hard to win the retake from the CTs when you're stuck on the site, when you're stuck in CT water, because they can just push up the ramp, push through the smokes, and just pr press you back into the shocks there towards short and sewers. Snakes was caught in a horrible situation as well, where he had to reload his gun when his teammates really needed his uh, assistance then, and a barrel position proved OP. The headshot could not be found, and Navi took the frags and the round with it. And they've taken the uh, the Virtus Pro weaponry, Zeus and Flamey rocking with the AKs that we didn't see often enough on the CT side and certain duels that may have changed the score by half time. <coughs> so the bomb moving away from the uh, B bomb site for now. Got some initial harassment from both sides, but no frags will be found. Neo taking some damage, but other than that, not much going on at the moment. Virtus Pro still with uh, four smokes in the bag. Navi generally with a better economy than we saw uh, Virtus Pro with on their CT side. You can see Ty uh, Ed Edward and Guardian is still with a reasonable amount of uh, nades in the bag. Smoke's coming out at the 50 second mark on the a on the B bomb site. Will allow them to bolster A with seized. Yeah, and it's looking like a similar round, although this time Virtus Pro have more investment towards A. They have not left anybody towards those or Monster. They want their heavy, heavy push straight on in. But Na'Vi have four men towards A. They've read this well. They got seized. He's going to go down straight away. He's going to get some information here as Guardian's in a bit of a rough, awkward position. He's going to get shot in the back by Taz. It's, it's just Edward who can make a response there. But losing Guardian in that kind of position is certainly suboptimal as Virtus Pro just sweep through the site and clean out all of Na'Vi. So d despite having four players, you can see how fragile that position can be. Will Na'Vi go for the eco here? They can drop weapons so they can have a decent buy they will actually go for the buy here i think that smoke has to be deliberate because the same thing just happened there with edward in that position so i can't i can't see that happening two times by accident it's really smart though to hit that timing when they're just going to push towards the site so you can just flank them yeah and it's great how navi used the smokes as a sixth man even though they didn't win the round uh to put extra heads over towards the a side with a certain timing where it's no longer reasonable or logical to go to the b-bomb site so Virtus Pro on the app, but with a four-round uh, deficit at present. You can see now the nade starting to lack for Na'Vi, so they won't be able to have those tools and rotations available to them on this occasion. Edward playing that position that we've seen from Shaw's get Sean Gares recently. But he's going to play it more aggressively than Sean. Rather than wait, he's going to go for the frags. But will Edward have the cover? He will not have the cover to escape from the position. That's something that Anders has mentioned recently. Something he doesn't find uh, that good for the CTs. And uh, Seas will get taken down in isolation as well, traded as well. So three versus three now as uh, Virtus Pro look to plant the bomb here. They've rolled in the big gun, the Scardian with the AWP. Has found himself a position towards the A bomb side defense. But 
Again, Virtus Pro are going to be making that move towards Suez, and they are such a great team at movement like this. Super fast, no hesitation, straight in, just switching up the bomb site and then forcing a heavier rotation, which definitely impacts the a chance for Navi to win this round heavily as just two quick kills come in as Navi try to find their way into positioning, but they don't even get that. They get denied by Virtus Pro, and now Guardian has to save the AWP. And I want to talk about that position on long that we see both Edward and Sean Garris play. I've seen it so many times people standing there waiting for a pop flash, but I've actually never seen them use the pop flash. <laughs> they just stand there waiting in a straight angle where you... Like, it's not even likely you're gonna trade one for one. When you're playing a good team, they will probably check that angle from the top of that thing you can jump, jump up on. Which means it's even hard to get a single kill. So, pulls coming in from Na'Vi. Can only presume it's a tactical pause as, uh, never mind. The unpause is back in. <laughs> because right. as I was saying, Virtus Pro is starting to catch up now and you can see the economy's been broken of Na'Vi. So things starting to get a little bit worrisome for the CT side. There's still four rounds for them to find to take this, which is uh, easier said than done against a team of the caliber of Virtus Pro on a map like Overpass. Two players on Virtus, however, have less than 2k, so it's so crucial for Navi to get at least two or three kills this round. Alright, well, we'll see if they can make it work. They are uh, actually pushing all over the shop. They've got two players towards long, one pushed in a party. Parte! As uh, we have Virtus <coughs> Pro looking for that play together in towards Suez, in towards the B-Bomb site, slowly but surely just trying to eliminate possibilities here for the CTs. Nice nade into the barrels there from Neo, that's going to flush out any uh, Na'Vi players from that unwanted position as the push finally arrives and the frags are soon to follow. Taz is in with one, there is however a bit of a lurk here just behind the smoke from these CTs, however they are going to get eliminated pretty easily. He's running around with his knife and Virtus Pro clean up what should have always been a round that looked like that. And a flawless round here from, for Virtus, which means even if they lose this round, as long as they get a few kills on Navi, I think they will be fine because they can reset Navi's economy once again. And we actually see a mag here on Zeus. Zeus in with the mag. Would you like a mag, James? I love a good mag 7. I really do. But where is he going to play it? That's the question. I guess he could go into the connector area, but oh, see, he's being naded into uh, or out of party, you might say. <coughs> Versus Pro, very close indeed. C's going to go down super early here for Navi. No trades coming in. Oh. Edward gets taken out completely blind, and they will find a third player in long. Guardian going down. So Navi, this this map is slipping away from them, round by round. Yeah, Versus Pro already coming back into this, and Zeus is looking for stragglers. But he's not going to find any because there are no stragglers. Virtus Pro moving in as a unit, as the horde, and they are pillaging that A bomb site. Indeed, and Bali's holding a rotation as well. Zeus has at least picked up a, an M4. I was going to say, if you could get there sooner, then maybe uh, they could get something going, some kind of pinch between the two directions as they had someone on the site, but it wasn't to be. Zeus remains versus five, and Virtus Pro will seek. But will they destroy it? We'll have to wait and see. The bombs should get planted relatively soon. Again, you do get a bit more money for elimination as opposed to bomb detonation. Bomb Although they can still uh, find that after the bomb plants. But they will want to uh, do maximum damage to the economy here. Zeus has got a gamble between two directions now as he does have one person, that's Pasha, looking in his direction, but he's going to find a frag. And he might survive for now, but we'll have a rush of Polish players headed in his direction. Just the A aggression there from Navi. Going for two people aggressive along seats might have been a bit too aggressive there on party, considering it's very hard for the guys on long to help him due to the smoke. But still a nice try. I mean, they have to stop Virtus Pro before they can do their executes. How worried are you if you are Navi right now, considering the score, the economy, etc.? I would be really worried. They should actually use these eco to kind of a timeout, plan what they're gonna do the next round. The next round they will have, they will be able to buy an open guardian, they will have a full set of nades. They don't need to have a mag on Zeus, as we saw in this last round, so. Yeah, he didn't even get an opportunity to use it. Great execute towards upper. 
there from Virtus Pro just disabled Navi before they knew or hit them. They broke the tracks on the tank, Dan. And that means the tank is not going to go anywhere, James. Indeed. So, Siege in that position again. Is he looking to self smoke himself? Self smoke himself? He got slapped in the face. Let me see. Okay, he's thrown his smoke, so no, he's not going to smoke himself off as we saw in previous rounds. Now we're going to be squeezed now between the uh, Lurk of Neo and the players over towards A. And there's going to be a second Lurk from Bayali. So if Navi think they found the Lurk, surprise, there's another one. Edward picks up the gun. Edward drops the gun to Bayali. Snacks comes in as well. And uh, this should be a formality now with only Guardian remaining. Looking for a sneaky frag. A bit of bonus money. Maybe he'll try and uh, sneak a weapon a bit later on. But of course, the hunt continues here from Versus Pro. We can really see the experience of Virtus Pro on this map in the comfort as well. And uh, Navi had a strong T side. I mean, they, what? I mean, they ended up winning the T side 8 7, which is really nice. But I think this is. Uh, I think. You, did you make this point earlier, Bjorn? You were saying, okay, now these days, over pass, you know, teams are finding ways to get way more T rounds than before. It's becoming much more T sided. Yeah, due to two facts. First, the Molotov towards short on B, which makes it so much easier to take sewers as T. Mm. Plus teams being better at abusing connector and sewers in the way we're seeing Virtus Pro doing it right now, where they, they push up towards the A site, they throw all the smoke, so it's very, very hard for the CTs to know if they're committing to the site or not. And what they do after that is just rotate back to B, and even though there might be some players left, it's very likely that there will be less players than it usually are when you make that push. So if Navi wants to stop this, they really need to take control of sewers and connector, I would say. Maybe even have one or two people go, go down connector, one or two people go push towards sewers, try to push from both sides at the same time, and then rotate back to A and play defensive on A, because you can't let Virtus just run back and forth through sewers all the time. Regarding our conversation about Overpass earlier, it was introduced to the Active Duty map pool pretty much a year ago. It was July 2014, so we can consider it a year to the point where we're seeing uh, teams such as these two playing on this map the way we are now. So just so you know, tactical pauses have two minute limits and they get one per map each team. So. And pause comes in and we're live. You know what's interesting is that Guardian has 10 frags and uh, this Seize 2 has 27. That's yeah. a little unusual, to say the least. It's not, it's not the best map for AWPers. The Seize going uh, this huge is pretty good for Na'Vi. But will it take them over the line? That's the question. And of course, producer Reese has got us calling the smokers. The P90 charges the short area. Trey's coming in. That's the bomb for Na'Vi, which means the rotation can, can come in from the CTs, but the round is playing out so fast that we have no idea who's going to come out on top here. So he's getting a man advantage, Snack's going down, and we're left in a 2 versus 3 down. Yeah, Patch is going to creep up, finds a play on the barrels. It is Flamey, he will receive him with open arms, and an M4 as well to boot. Taz is his last man standing, and he's not going to be able to accomplish all that much. And we saw that that actually was Na'Vi fighting for Suez, which is exactly what Threat was talking about, basically. Just you can't give it up for, th for free, and uh, they, they didn't. Yeah, and it worked. They had three guys surviving as well. I really like it when we got stuck there, how we <laughs> were under the water, so we had that underwater effect. Yeah. It was kind of cool. Blub, blub. <laughs> Navi get back into the lead just by the one round, by coming out for both sides. There's Virtus Pro sitting on a fair chunk of cash at the moment, AWP on both sides, Neo opting for it on the T side as opposed to Pasha. And uh, this is a more passive round from Virtus Pro. They're allowing Navi to take Suez this time. And that's kind of working out because we can see the all picked up by Neo is going to allow him to go for those longer range picks. And he's going to be able to pick one of those off. That's going to force Navi back a little bit away from their aggressive uh, place. So now Virtus Pro have a map that's a li little bit more open. The only difficulty could actually be Seized, who not only has been performing very well, but he is lurking in connector. He is the main point of information gathering and the player that could turn this round around for Na'Vi on the CT side. There's the first player dead. However, he's very low. He's forced into the open and Pasha will finish him off. Three versus four now is the reality for a Na'Vi that haven't had much momentum in the CT half that are in... Well, they could be in the, in the death rows very soon despite having the uh, advantage on the score. Indeed, they certainly have the disadvantage with the personnel. And time is still on Virtus Pro's side. 
for now, but it will soon run out. Guardian will be very important indeed, as he is the player that Na'Vi can rely on in these situations, although this is not the most favourable map, but these situations, defending a site, he can thrive on. There's a first frag, that's the bomb, that means the rotation for the remaining CTs. Zeus coming in for support as well. Guardian with the third frag of the three, and Edward to finish off Na'Vi hold and put himself two rounds away from taking over pass. And once again, I think the key was Na'Vi just having more information in these rounds when they have control of sewers because it means they actually know that it's going to be NA execute, which means they can put more people on the site. We actually saw three players there from Na'Vi on that A site. Virtus Pro bringing four Molotovs out to play. Let's see what they can do with those. Only the one incendiary onto C's on the uh, CT side. They've got a lot of flashbangs though. See if they can use them to good effect. It's going to be a key round for VP now. Otherwise, we're talking about overtime. First frag goes their way. And there's a lot of movement on the uh, T side. Snacks maybe seeing that CT just over the smoke, but cannot make a connection. Yeah, just falling back a little bit here versus Pro. They're just trying to force a reaction from Na'Vi. Something that they can capitalize on. But C's is going to find the headshot into Snacks straight away. He's pushing into this, this massive... Uh, Surge of players from Virtus Pro, and he's going to feel the end of their wrath right now as they try to make their way forwards. But it is a three on three, so we have Passion now moving onto the bomb side, trying to open it up here for Virtus Pro as uh, Taz is going to join him as well. Guardian's close with the AWP. I think he just spotted just a pixel of a barrel there. He's going to take down Taz. He looks around the side of the container. Passion over the top. Oh my god, he gets a headshot. I don't believe it. I do not believe it. This man with no health left. Winning a completely key round, a pivotal moment there for Na'Vi in Guardian. It's a great time to see him come back in to the map with such a clutch as that. Guardian says no. That was ridiculous. Yeah, and the funny thing is Na'Vi would have been forced to yeah. an eco, which means it would have been 14-14 instead of 15-12 to Na'Vi and we actually see Virtus with a Seaside and a Galil on Neo. That is crushing, but... VP must keep their resolve here. This is crunch time and they're not out of it yet, but they're not too far off. So you can see some very important duels coming up and uh, Versus Pro are going to have to make sure they're precise. We may see, uh, well, we are seeing some slow action to begin with, but once it starts, who knows where it will take us. T in terms of uh, the Navi side, there aren't, they're like Edward and Guardian are hogging most of the grenades, almost all of them at the moment. There's uh, only one smoke left, which has just been dispatched by Zeus. Keeping that uh, short area under wraps. So they are lacking information. They are playing very passively indeed. Edward's going to be the information man looking forward towards toilets, but Zeus is the one to get the first frag. Yeah, Zeus is going to make things look easy here for Na'Vi, and it's like uh, just dominoes there. Zeus pushes down the first one, and they all fall in tandem. And that's a 16 to 12 scoreline. Na'Vi will defeat Virtus Pro. That's going to send Virtus Pro against Kingwin in the best of three. Uh, but it's more importantly going to be Na'Vi who could either just go straight forward to the playoffs or it could be Cloud9. That's going to be a very interesting match as well. Na'Vi, Cloud9, of course, they just played a, a grand finals recently. Yeah, and that was a really close game. Cloud9 did manage to win one map and on overpass, I think it ended 16 14. Yeah, it was super, super close and they will be seeking revenge and I think we can all look forward to that one. But the, quest the question is also, let's look at Virtus Pro. Like, that, that round came down to an insane individual play from Guardian, as we have all, all too often seen from him. But, but can uh, Virtus Pro keep their resolve going into their losers match or are they going to be? Frust are they going to feel frustration there and maybe not play as well as they as they might? Yeah, that game was completely 50-50, just yeah. going down to the clutches. And that Guardian clutch just sealed the deal for Na'Vi. Yeah, I can't wait to see that in his uh, from his perspective. Because yeah, yeah. Because that's like all the way up there. Yeah. Headshot as well. It's yeah, like yeah. vertical shots in that angle. He, he, I, it's probably no scope. It has to be no scope, sure. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely crazy, but... Uh, that's why he probably is the best Orper, as good as Skidule is. Personally, for me, Guardian's the man. Yeah, I mean, Guardian, the thing about him that's very cool is that he's very consistent, and he, he's a star player, in, and, it, and he can take on the burden of being a star player. Because there are players who have the skill to be a star player, but they, 
they don't have the ment the mentality or, or the psychology or something in, you know inside them in that way that allows them to take on the burden. And I mean, in inter interviews prior, Guardian accepts he knows that he needs to deliver for his team to win. And he also even said to me that when I play really well, that's when my team plays really well as well. So he's basically he's basically saying he he understands that everything is on him more or less most of the time. He's got to play well. Of course, I'm sure he is he exaggerated just a little bit, but he is very good at handling that pressure and he even I've, I th he's been getting better and better in all these grand finals we've been seeing him just playing better it's crazy he's a really amazing player yeah and a, a point i want to make about these great opers with the guardian he didn't have that many frags uh, in this game but usually if you have an opera that's starting to play really really good team starts to counter that opper which means he's probably not going to get a lot of frags but the team is actually spending resources just to stop this one player mm which means he's actually doing something, even though you can't see it on the scoreboard. All right, so I think we might be able to have a look at the uh, brackets now and see how things are currently shaping up in Group A. So Cloud9 uh, taking it over Kingwin 16-7 versus Pro. They're losing to Na'Vi 12-16. So in the upper bracket final, we are going to see Cloud9 versus Na'Vi. That is coming up. And then Kingwin versus versus Pro will be tomorrow. So both teams will have some time to prepare, which is actually very important, something I didn't mention earlier. And Versus Pro will uh, hopefully have a time to cool down and move on from that uh, tough loss to Na'Vi. And of course, later on, we are going to have Fnatic versus Team Liquid in Group B and NIP versus TSM as well, which I think uh, Stuart will be joining us for that and the following match, Mr. Tosspot himself. Vest not included. He wasn't a fan. No, it would be if we somehow. I don't know. I can't imagine what it would take to get him to He'd sit here. Lose, he has to lose, lose a bet. Rest, lose a bet. Yeah, it would be. You need to create a bet with him. Yeah, maybe, maybe one day. Although I'd be if if that was what we would win, I'd fear to imagine what we would lose. Maybe we can yeah, have yeah. seven dragon lord and one toss spot in a tank top. Ah, speaking of which, we have a bison to uh, <laughs> to raffle. Why are you laughing, guys? Don't you want a bison? It's really good. It has 64 bullets in each match. Yeah. It will guaranteed be battle scarred. We will display one later. But I think it's time to go for a break as the next match is set up. Again, that is going to be Cloud9 versus Na'Vi. Um, again, Guardian playing well despite just arriving with his equipment located by the airlines. So we're going to go to a break, guys. We'll see you uh, soon for match three of the six matches we are bringing you from London. And uh, yeah, see you in a few minutes. Thank <laughs> you.